guys welcome back to another video as you can see i am here back in my island that has been upgraded again and as you can see i managed to find all the three maps with my friend and in this video as you can see from the thumbnail is we are going to be learning how to efficiently make money now the first way that i would actually do it is okay i've set up some vending machines as an example so you go to a new one's shop and see okay copper ingot you can buy for 500 coins okay so 500 and you sell it for 400 usually at shops it'll be brought down by either 100 or 2000 depending on the original price so yeah you go here and say all right this is a pretty good deal then you go into pro game Akira shop and go like, holy crap this is 800 coins and as you can see this is obviously a better deal than this but when you sell it it is more a sell price than here as well as more buy price so say for instance um that you come here right and then you go and buy the copper ingot and then you come here and you sell the copper ingot you make a profit of 100 and you can do that with other items like that's it's pretty much called like do big money so then i'm just gonna get my money out of here so um it's, it's actually the method is called duping money so you're pretty much um you know just taking an item from here and selling at another shop for a better deal so these are obviously my friend's names although pro gaming kiddo doesn't have a shop but my friend noob one does and i'm just gonna say that um if you're watching this noob one shout out to you so that's one of the methods you can make very efficient money. Now I'm going to go ahead and break these and then there will be another method. Oi. So another method, it takes a while because in some shops, they don't necessarily do the sort of thing because um, you can do money very easily with this. But, so this is part of it, don't worry guys. So say for instance, you have a lot of this crap, right? Like a lot of aquamarine and I'm like, all right, I'm, I'm kind of like, so as you can see, I've got like over 3K aquamarine and if you find that you have a lot of an item, you can go to shops. So say for instance, uh, so I'll place a vending here to represent, to um, resemble a shop. So say for instance, they are, so this, so you can sell your aquamarine, say for instance, for, I, I don't really know the actual price of aquamarine, but it's probably 2000. Uh, I'll put in 10k in here. So say for instance, you can sell aquamarine at someone's shop for 2000, right? And you have lots of this aquamarine and it's being made by the minute. And now it's really rare that um, items made by totems can be bought at shops but those anarchy shops that are really like solo and don't have much money like a very crappy shop they might actually take aquamarine shard so what you can do is you can generate more aquamarine very easily aquamarine and then you go ahead and spam sell which is going to be it's going to take a while but um i think then after that after you keep selling, you can buy more rare items and then you can actually sell it at shops. One th Another way to um, do money is I was going to actually show you guys this yesterday, but the um, butterfly festival just ended yesterday. And um, what you can do is you can actually make quite a bit by doing so. And then um, once you have enough, right, you can go sell it. And I remember the gold net was selling for a few billion, which is, um, but a few billion, and hear me out guys, one billion is enough to run two shops at the same time, that's how much money you can actually make from the butterfly festival. Now I probably should have shown you guys what to do, and I actually made three million from there, but that's how you farm stuff there. And that's that now i'm going to go and show you the last way that you can ma efficiently make money 
but this this method is actually really slow and it costs a lot of resources it's very risky because you don't have um you don't have like a you have a risk of it not working which is probably why the my friend is gro going broke because like some methods just don't work guys so um i'm just gonna be collecting a whole bunch of my resources to show you guys but like so it's pretty much running your own shop and i know guys it may seem really dumb to run your own shop like oh my god you need so much resources rs player like or like you know all sorts of stuff and i'm just gonna say that the resources aren't really the biggest tackle because if I go into my workbench, such as vending machines, all you need is 10 gold, 5, five, oh, 5 green sticky gears, and 1 crystallized iron to make one of these big fat babies. And um, it's not really much of a tackle to get the resources, especially, especially if you have a gold deed and a drill, which I showed you in the last video on how to use a drill. But I think that the thing that will challenge people the most is the fact that when you need a when you craft a vending machine, right? You need an economy level 40 and over to actually edit vending machines like this. And you need 25 and over to like buy stuff from vending machines. Uh, which is why that's probably the hardest tackle. But I think the best way you can actually get through that is to get your farming level up and then you can go to the merchant in the hub and buy watermelon seeds and create like i used to have a crate packer here so this is obviously a crate packer when you put like a wheat totem or whatever totem conveys there um it'll pack it into a crate for you and you can make it pack large crates as well but I, yeah you need a t tier 2 crate packer for that and uh, you can, one large melon crate is equal to one level, so you need 40 for economics level 40, depending on whether you're starting on economics level 0. Like, that's pretty much how it works. I had trouble getting up to that level as well. And I gave my friend two blood chrysanthemums and he gave me 80 melon crates. That was enough to get me up to level 39. And then I bought a whole bunch of things at this shop to get me up to level 40. Which is pretty, it's a pretty nice and easy um, way to make money for the first three. But I think the shop, you might need a lot of resources for it. Now I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to build a basic shop. Now, firstly, you're going to need a very beautiful block. I'm just kidding, you don't need, you can use any block. So you need like a good block, you know. So, and you also need a spawn block, yes. Yeah, so this spawn block you can get from the block guy, I think it was. And when you place it right, it's the new spawn area. So you jump off, boom, you spawn on the spawn block. But it's very hard to use because if you do this right, and you break it, you I think you still spawn in that area. Do you? No, okay. So I guess you don't have to worry about grieving or anything. But one thing you can do is you can place a spawn block, right? Make a wall, but I'm not going to make a wall now because I have other things to show you guys. And then place your vendings like, like that. Just place a whole bunch of vendings like that. Blah, blah, blah. And just pretend this whole thing is filled. Then you can fill the vending machines with like pretty random stuff, I guess. Like if you have like valuables, like conveyors or bar tokens. I think bar tokens are selling well now because Ruby um, value is going up, so I'd is advise you guys to do so. Slime portal shards aren't worth very much and um, I just got notified by my friend that they're only worth 900 I think it was. Red bronze is also very popular guys. Um, opal was always popular. Um, I got this from my friend but you need the lighting. Um, you can still have the item without the lighting game pass but you need the lighting game pass to actually make it. So that this would actually sell very well, especially to people who don't have the game pass. Uh, I got this from my friend as well. I guess this is pretty much it. You can just put like a whole bunch of random stuff in it. And links in the description, you can also check price check. So say for instance you want to sell a brick, I don't know. What the hell. I'm just gonna 
I'm just gonna... There. See? So... That's pretty much how you make a really basic shot. But sometimes it's not worth the stress because it's not... It's not confirmed that your shot will be successful. Alright guys, so those are the three um, best ways to make money. The next video will either be on how to bring up your combat level or something else. Alright, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Please stay tuned for more. Because I'm going to be doing more and more tutorials like this as islands get more popular. And I just really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye guys.